All right, guys. So we are here today with a tutorial of how to set your controller up for squad. Uh, yeah, we are here today with a tutorial of how to set your controller up for squat. Um, I'm currently using a PS4 controller. So, let me show you guys how I set everything up to where I'm able to run. I'm able to duck down, I can crouch, I can go from any position, up, down, up, down. vault over stuff I can jump at any time I can aim down the sights um, I can hold you know but let me show you guys what I what I did for my controller tutorial <clears throat> so I wanted my controller to be as close as Daisy type of ish a little bit um, but at the same time a little like I want to say Call of Duty-ish but um so this is my controller setup for we'll start off, uh, off here so for my left trigger I have my left shift and right mouse attached to this one so what you would do is you'll go into it you'll click into it I have my full pull action as my left shift and my right mouse I didn't put anything for the soft pull because it keeps on canceling out sometimes whenever you do it. So that's why you have to put it. I put it this way so that way you'll be able to pull the trigger back at least like this without having to worry. And plus since the space bar is to keep your gun stable for a bit and while to hold your breath, I left it like that. So that way I will be able to aim. As you can see, my aim is just, you know, but after a while when you hold it, he starts the weapon sway will come because you know he's not holding his breath no more um let me see what else do i have on there sorry this is the only way i know how to get to my steam controller <laughs> um, give you guys a chance to check it out mm -hmm. for my uh left bumper i have scroll up and I have it as, and I also have Q. So I could scroll with my wheels at any time, as you can see, by pressing my triggers. And then also, I have it to where my triggers, if I hold it, I can lean left and I can lean right. So I can always go behind the wall you know, and if I need to lean out, I can lean out. So, or I need to lean in, lean in. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to set the whole controller up right also too. I'm just going through most of the buttons that I had laid out. Um, I believe this one is for the PlayStation button, which I don't, I didn't put anything on this one. But for my triggers, for my uh, directional pad. I have up is B, over is F, down, I can't remember what I have set to that. I have key bindings as a regular press at 5, my long press is 6. So that is for, I believe, to change my, so this is what I set it as. If I hold down, it would change to my tools that I needed to, and if I hold down again, it would change to it, or if I just press down. And I also have my field dressing now set as over as my directional pad. So say for instance I'm at my gun and I need now my field dressing. If I hold over, oh did it not save? Or did I set it to square? Oh no, I think I set it to square. I don't know what I set this over to. Oh, you know what? Now I remember. <laughs> I set it over to F to be able to go to my supply crate and in time I change any role that I want to. So I have the controller set in different ways. 
um, down is my uh, shovel and anything at the bottom, ammo crate and stuff like that. What is this? this is to do my chat and this is for my squad chat so I can just hold over hold left and I can do voice chat I can do voice chat or if I hold up it will do squad chat squad chat won't show up right now in training because I'm not in a squad but if I hold up I'll be able to go to my squad chat let me see I'm epic F is over for my joystick, you already know I have left shift. This is the move and to sprint. Since sprint is also your shift button, I have it I have it registered as left shift for me to move and stuff like that. Uh right the right stick is pretty much self-explanatory. Sorry for the yawning, it's like four in the morning. I haven't slept yet. Uh, for the right stick, I just left it at joystick, you know, joystick mouse. Didn't really need to do anything. I put it at the joystick mouse so it imitates a mouse. And I just left the sensitivity down and everything. So that way I can move a little bit faster. Um, for my buttons. This is where it gets a little complicated at now. I needed it to where I can switch to my gun back again. And do everything I need to do it also so I have it to where holding triangle if I hold triangle it would also switch to my spade just in case you know I don't feel like holding down because most of the times honestly I don't really hold down to switch to my stuff I actually just press triangle to switch to my main and I'll hold down triangle to switch to my other stuff and then that way I could just change it whenever I want by holding triangle it'll switch to my thing switch to my ammo bag this is for infantry just to let you guys know this is an infantry build i built this one in medic um so you can lay your stuff down let me change to medic let me show you guys my medic build I'll show you so that way i got it for square to go to my field dressing so i can heal people and if I hold square, I can go to the med kit to heal people. Then I can press triangle, and it automatically switch back over to my gun. So, um, let me show you guys also to what I have here. I have it as if I hold for a long press. If I hold it, it will change to my uh, my shovel. Once I press triangle, just press it once, it'll change to my my gun. And also, if I press triangle, it also changes my rate of fire. Also, too, it would change it from single shot to burst. Um, then for my circle button, regular press is X. So I can, I changed my key bindings a little bit, so that way I can... Uh, duck down that's my um, duck down and lay down button if I long press it it'll make me lay down which I changed this in the game to Z for my X button I have it to where I can jump and then for my long press I have it to where I hold F and just to let you guys know if you want to know how to get to these long presses and stuff if you don't see it what you'll do is you'll click into the bindings itself and then click the multi buttons and sometimes it would ask you for keep for uh to add activators and you could just click add activators here and you can go from there um for this one my regular press to reload i have it set under square so i just press square it would reload and if i hold it it changes over to my med kit and this is where my um what is that my uh medic comes into play start you know is the menu um my trigger i have it set to where this is a scroll down my r button is to scroll down so my left one is to scroll up r one is to scroll down and then also have it if i hold it 
I lean to the right. Um, for this one, I have it as my left mouse, which is basically, of course, the fire button to shoot. Um, I don't really have anything else put to it, though. I set it at hair trigger, put it at soft pull point. And that's pretty much it. I was going to make a helicopter one for that one. I can show you when I do that and how I will do it to add action layer step by step. But in order to do this, you'll probably have a clean slate. So you'll just want to click into the buttons and just make sure you go into, you click into this. And once you click into it, sometimes, like I said, it'll add activators or not. I set both of them on the key binding itself. But to do that, you'll click multi button and then you'll click both of them on. And if it was X also too, if you want to add an activator or not, I didn't add an activator for these ones. I just left it as long press and I turned my long press time down. So that way I can just be able to snap into this one if I need to. Now, the thing about this one is though, your controller settings, once you get into your controller settings, they are not going to be smooth. You have to go into the game and go to your settings in order to change them. You'll click, go on to games, stay on game. It, it's not under controls. It's actually under game. Go all the way down to right here where it says zoom sensitivity scaling. Click that on and adjust these to your liking. If you want, you can copy my buttons. Mine are not the best. It's just what fits my play style. I have it so where if I'm not in, you know, holding down the sights, I can move around faster than when I am holding down the sights. I'll be able to get like a nice, you know, it slows down a little bit to where I can be able to shoot. As you can see right now, it's fast. I can be able to turn, snap quick anytime I want. But when I'm aiming down the sights, I have it to where it's just a little slow. But the reason why is because I usually snap like if I'm looking like this. I'll just snap this way quick, get out of it, snap back this way, or, you know, snap. That way I could just be able to shoot whenever I want, you know, and still have it pretty accurate. Like right now he's swaying, but, oh, oh man, my shots are off. <laughs> but, you know, you're always pretty much in squad dealing with long range combat anyway, so most of the times, at least most of the times but this helps you with the long range to switch this helps you with the short short range to be able to what's the call this helps you my bad this helps you with your short range uh this helps you with your long range you know if you're in short range i wouldn't i wouldn't hold down the sights i would just just shoot the person's in front of you but that is a basic tutorial you know on how to set your PlayStation controller up for Steam. I know I, there was no tutorials when I looked online. I'll just leave it up for you guys again so you guys can see what I have set. And like I said, make sure that you do it to where you have your long presses and your regular presses, guys. Um, but that is a basic controller setup. Um, I might be able to try to save the layout for you guys and put it up there and label it as under squad and put it on their community tab maybe but um let me know if you guys want that um if you want to see that let me know in the comments um but also i will be doing a helicopter guide i'm not good at helicopters though but you know something with being able to add another action layer onto this but just make sure you guys look at what I have on here. If it fits your liking, this is the best that I came up with. You know, it fits the playstyle pretty well. It plays like Call of Duty or any other modern shooter. That's the way I, I set it up to, you know. And I managed to get most of the buttons that really matter on here. So, especially with Squad. Now, with games like Arma, I couldn't get that to, you know... I couldn't match the buttons the way I, I really want to, but I got it down pat too for armor. But um, just let me know what you guys want, and you know, just let me know in the comments below. Just, uh, just comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.